victory. Halo Infinite Season 2 is upon us, and although the Battle Pass and content in itself is lacking, for use of a better word, what is there is actually good. Apart from the Battle Pass, there's, there's a couple of bits on there that are okay, um, and, you know, it's something to work towards, as the progression has not been altered, which is unfortunate. You still have the challenges. Now, thankfully, the challenges that have been there this week for the first weekly challenges aren't too taxing and... Uh, don't require you to do too crazy a, a thing, uh, apart from a couple of oddball ones, which I quickly swapped out with some uh, <laughs> challenge swaps straight away. <laughs> Got those bad boys right out of there. However, the one thing about Season 2 that I am loving the most is the new mode, Last Spartan Standing. It's essentially a... Uh, it, it's, it, it essentially is a battle royale to a point, except for it's, um, I think it's 12 Spartans, uh, and or t 11 or 12 Spartans uh, get spat onto this new map, and you have five lives, and once those five lives are up, you are out. And as you kill other Spartans and get, uh, gain XP, you upgrade from uh, pistols to... Um, you know, assault rifles and shotguns and battle rifles and all that kind of jazz. So everyone's pretty much on a level playing field. There's no meta ball crap. It's just all against all and a free for all. The third partying is rife. Um, I've won my uh, fair share of them um, and lost uh, a lot more. But unfortunately, because of the progression situation, even when you win, unless you have challenges for it, you gain nothing. Um, that that unfortunately is uh is is the big uh problem with halo infinite now halo infinite i love it the gameplay is phenomenal the game looks great the game plays great uh although i have noticed since season two started there's a lot of uh, there are some lag spikes and whatnot on the servers but i imagine a lot of people have come back so they are quite stressed and i get that that's fine but they need to, season three, they need to sort progression out. They need to make it so that you unlock something. Like if you if you win like 10 games of it, you get a special banner, special sticker, special logo, special armor, something to show your prestige and to show your accomplishments and what you've done. They need something other than these challenges and the battle pass. They really do. I enjoy it. I will play it. However, once the battle pass is maxed out, I will only then return for the... Uh, the special events, I did the Samurai one, the Temurai one on the last season, and uh, apart from that, because there's no other progression besides Ranked, and I don't really play Ranked anymore on any games because I'm not really a, a heavily competitive player anymore, I just play for the fun of it, um, unfortunately, that's it. Apart from the Battle Pass, the Ranked mo uh, the ranked Slayer is it. That is literally your only form of progression. And for the more casual players, or the players who can't dedicate as much time to it to get good, to be on the ranked uh, the ranked playlist, um, it's it, there's nothing really to unlock. Now you could just play it for the fun of playing it, but getting some form of reward or an, a rank up or something is um, better than nothing, surely. And sorry if you just heard that. That was my Xbox pinging up with a notification. Uh, so apologies. And and once again, <laughs> I'm capturing uh, game footage uh, probably for this video. So that's probably what you're hearing is being uploaded to the Xbox server. But that being said, if you haven't returned to Halo Infinite um, at all yet, uh, it is worth it. Uh, the Battle Pass, if you have Game Pass anyway, it's, it's only going to set you back about seven quid. So it's cheap. And seven quid, I mean, it's a six month long um, battle pass, but the battle passes do not expire. So you can, even if you haven't finished the first battle pass yet, you can swap between the first and second one uh, to unlock e uh, stuff on either of them, which is a pretty cool addition. It's not like Call of Duty and Fortnite that once the season's done, that's it. Even if you didn't get to the top tier, you paid your full price for it. You just you miss out. So that's pretty cool. And the I haven't played on any of the new maps on the normal multiplayer yet, as I've been just regulated into the older maps. Now, don't get me wrong, I do like the older maps, but it would be nice to play on the newer maps. And King of the Hill is pretty fun as well. I'm glad that's made a return, and um, hopefully with Season 3 we get a bit more. I know we're getting co-op for the campaign in August, and we're getting Forge in a beta form in November for when Season 3 launches. 
but for season three they really do need to up the ante a bit but this last spartan standing is a fantastic little event and the challenges that come with it to unlock its mini little seasonal uh special battle pass uh, they're not too taxing and just involve you killing people and meleeing people and as you can get the invisibility um uh, armor core uh, you can sneak up on people and bosh them pretty easily but anyway please let me know in the comments what you think of halo season two um I, again like i said I, I i like what's there is there's just not enough there uh for me unfortunately I, like i said i'll still play it i'll still complete the battle pass but they really do need to step up their game for Season 3 or the player base is really, really going to drop off. But thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Stronghold Bravo is ours. Yeah.